Well, I had a whole bunch of uh, vegetables and stuff coming up, but we got a huge hailstorm last night. Probably got two inches of rain, and I guess the hail accumulation was like at least uh, eight inches around here. I didn't wake up quick enough to see it before it melted, but you can tell the effects of it. I had potatoes coming up here, and pokeweed, and garlic, and a bunch of other stuff, and it's just all got pummeled. You can kind of see how much damage there was I mean all these leaves that are on the ground let's see like over there all those green leaves just got battered off last night I didn't even hear the hail it happened I guess early in the morning but yeah like I say I didn't uh, spend any money on seeds or starts or anything this year I've just been planting what I had and what I could obtain for free so I don't have any money potentially lost in this hail damage but I'm kind of glad that I didn't but uh, I think pretty much everything that got knocked down, like especially the garlic and potatoes and stuff, will it'll come back, no problem. But you can just see the trees took, they took a pretty heavy beating, but I don't, it doesn't look like many limbs are down. It's mostly just leaves and stuff. So, yeah, it's quite a bit of, I wish I would have seen it. I really do. But none of the animals were hurt. And nothing was damaged beyond repair. The irises took quite a beating. Those all were good looking irises but like I say they're they're roots so they'll make it they'll recover no problem luckily the two RVs look like they're all right you know yeah the only trees that I've really planted are these two peach trees here these ones are all right <laughs> they lost a lot of leaves but luckily they weren't big enough to cause any big branch splits or anything so this will just serve to reinforce them and make them a little bit stronger these irises here around the trees didn't really get damaged much. But I was driving driving in a minute ago and noticed my very first bamboo shoot here on the farm. This is the first one, and this is from a bamboo that I planted last year. I do not remember what species it is, um, <clears throat> but the fact that it's sending up new shoots means that it's transplanted successfully and it's going to survive, so that's encouraging. Well, the other bamboos that I planted recently, they took, they lost... They lost, you know, whatever leaves they had. Some of them did anyways. But the stems are still alive, it feels like. So they should they should be just fine. And, uh, you know, here's another one. This one didn't lose as many leaves. So I'm sure, I'm sure all the bamboos will be fine. They're pretty hardy. But uh, this herb bed over here that I had took quite a beating. I had a bunch of, uh, there was Jerusalem artichokes coming up and, potatoes you can barely see the potatoes now almost looks like something ate them off but now it's just huge hail here's my melissa or lemon balm that got topped off too a few of the mints that were coming up got topped off here's an elderberry tree actually i forgot yeah i have peach trees and elderberry trees those are the two types i've planted but a lot of the softer branches got beaten up on this but That'll just cause it to grow more bush-like, and I'm wanting to take cuttings off this and use it as a mother plant anyways for uh, for propagating as many elderberries as I can and getting them started on different areas all over the farm. So that's just fine with me. I was going to have to manually prune it anyways to get it to grow more shoots. From what I've read, elderberry is relatively easy to, to do vegetative cuttings with. Uh, so... Hopefully, uh, I'll be able to spread that out. Anyways, hopefully that project will work. But, uh, yeah, you can really see the leaves that came down here. Just kind of want to document what's going on. It's, uh, it is mid-April 2017. And after this rain that we had, four inches of water accumulation, and the temperatures that we've been having, 70s and 80s, all these beds should be coming to life real soon. So stay tuned.